Hey, welcome to Pursuit of Happiness. Let's see, hopefully you can see the black marks around the dog's face. And Alex? All right, let's get rid of them. That's insane. Today, we're continuing on with our cleaning of our RV. We're looking at Black Streak Remover. This one's by BioClean High Performance Cleaners. I read reviews that it does a great job removing black lines, but it also does a great job of removing everything else, wax, oh, and all of the protectant. So, we're gonna see how this works. We have some black marks back here that are kind of scratches from the uh, tree branch I showed you in the last video. Kind of scratch this up. Alex is gonna take a look at it. I'm not sure if those are gonna come off, but we also have some legitimate rust and roof black marks on the front of the RV that we need to get off. So let's see how it works. All right, so the directions say that we should have done this before we wash the RV, but we're here now. So what we need to have are clean dry cloths. What's it say on there, Alex? Spray product on the dry clean cloth or towel and wipe the surface clean. All right, and you start from the bottom and go up. Here's the towel, it's on X. You can turn it to check, spray a little on there. It kind of smells like armor roll or Windex. That's definitely what it smells. Holy crap! Wow! Yay! I need more. Right? It definitely smells like Windex and really works. Well, it does not work like Windex. It works like pure acid. Wow, that's crazy. So let me bring you up and I'll show you. That's insane. So let's get up here. Let's see. Hopefully you can see the black marks around the dog's face. And Alex? Alright, let's get rid of them. Just wipe some right off. Now it does tell you to wash the RV after you do this. And you can see over here, hopefully you can see that, the difference. So we're gonna wash the rest of these off and then rewash the back. Good thing that didn't take too long. Right? I don't think you're allowed to say that on YouTube. Oh, that's right. They won't monetize us because we don't matter yet. Nope. Make us matter, guys. Support us. I expected it to work, but... Not that well. Yeah, only kind of eh. I'm curious, like these streaks that we kind of leave, if the soap the pick goes on. Right. I hope the camera can catch. Right. What it looked like before, because that's pretty amazing. That was good. I never thought it would come back. It wasn't this, it's so sunny out here. I think it would work even better, which we have some black spots on the other side too. Mm -hmm. All right, let's move over. And I can tell you 100%, there is no shine left up there. No. It definitely removed all of the wax, everything from that. I bought this one. This is one quart, and this bottle, given that we just cleaned that whole area out there, this is gonna last forever. Yeah. One quart, I wasn't sure what size to buy. One quart's gonna last forever. So go one quart, don't buy bigger unless you need bigger. All right, now we'll rewash that top. I'll wax this later when the sun's past. So this is a really bad rust spot that has been driving me crazy. So let's see, start 
start on a fresh spot on the rag. Decent amount on there. Try to put that there without dropping it. Let's see how it does. No pressure at all right now. Now more pressure. And it there is it goes. going away. So it definitely takes some good pressure. I'm probably shaking the ladder. Sorry about that. But you can see it just disappears. Reload. more stubborn than the black marks. Mm-hmm. Here we go. Just a little bit left, and it's gone. Gone. Get it off the glass. So this is where the majority of our air conditioned water runs it off. You can see how it's kind of getting inside there, causing that rust. And this is just poor craftsmanship from Coachman. All of their weather stripping, the protectant over the screws, have started deteriorating from day one. I wonder if it would work on this stuff. Reload and try. A little bit. I don't want to go around and do all of it, because yeah. it's not that important. Uh, not really. Not really. That looks pretty darn permanent. All That's right. sad. That's that. That was good. Very good. Now, we'll just kind of rewash this. Any residual. I had already used it down here on some small black marks. Nothing major. The small, the really light ones come off super easy. If it's a little bit of a darker black streak, it might take a little bit more elbow grease or like that rust. But it takes it off. And now we will rinse it and be done. All right, let's go back and see the back that's dried now. So this is the back, it's dried after washing it again, and it looks pretty darn good. All the black streaks are gone. Maybe just some small scratches from the tree actually scratching it. You can see, I don't know if you can see in the camera, it's definitely dull and needs to be rewaxed, but that's not a problem at all because that's our next video is waxing. So this is black streak remover, cleaner, degreaser from BioClean high performance cleaners. We'll put a link down in the description to this product. It's not an Amazon affiliate link. It's just a link. We don't get anything from it. So um, this is why I just bought off Amazon after doing some research. Very good stuff. Super easy to use. I definitely recommend this, but if you use it, plan to wax whatever it is that you cleaned because if you haven't waxed it, uh, it's going to be dull and it's going to look bad compared to the rest of the RV. So, again, Black Streak Remover BioClean, link in the description. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to our channel. We make more videos about cooking and just what we do daily. Uh, when we're out on the weekends and the travels that we go on. So subscribe, like this video, comment, let us know what you think. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.